So this is our last day in Penang Island and uh, some other traveler I'm not really a traveler because she's living in Bali already 12 years ago so she recommended another place for us this is the snake temple snakes in the temple in a separated room they have a snake exhibition also so kind of recommended only a small place 30 minutes is enough but uh, if you have time you can check it also our next stop is a small village a fishing village which name is Pulau Betong fishing village. We are here now. No, we no? have to go there. Ah, we have to go there. Here. Okay, I show the map. We are here. And where we need to go? Don't there is some snow? We don't know. <laughs> The beach is this is the beach way, this is the village way. So first we walk into the village and then to the beach. Because we need to buy some water and uh, we want to see what is here in a real uh, fishing village. I think uh, we found the place again where we are the only tourist. It seems you can buy everything here which swims in the water. Yeah, but you came from the next to the sea from Madeira. And what do you think about these fishes here? Or I don't know. You like the seafood? This is seafood? Yeah. But Could you eat all? It doesn't look so clean. What does look clean in Southeast Asia? So it's a real small village, we found three shops or something like that uh, where they sell the fishes but I am sure those fishes were uh, in the... Uh, so I am sure those fishes were swimming in the water few years, few, few hours ago it seems uh, it's too hot for me now, but looks good. These are ships they use. From the bike we saw a place where they trying the, I think it's fish food. It smells very good for the fishes, but not for us. Shrimp. Shrimp. And you know like the head of the shrimp? I don't know how to say that animal. Shrimp. 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 
shrimp. Camarones in Spanish. So, the part that we don't eat, they use it like the small ones. They use it for making this. They just like crush it, everything, and after they just put into the sun. And with the sun, it can be like the fer fermentation. And you see that it's very melted. So it, it needs to be very soft. And after that, it is like a powder. Uh, not really a powder, but similar. So they use it for cooking the vegetables. So that's no fish food, that's human food. And it doesn't really look good. Uh, now I am afraid because we are going to eat, so maybe they use that. It looks like poo, so. <laughs> Don't know. What is this? Milkshake. Oh, milkshakes. And this? Taiwan sausage. What kind of sausage? Taiwan. Pork? Pork sausage. She is from Venezuela? Ah, sorry. I was from Venezuela, but now I live in Hungary. What? Hungary? Hungary. Hungary, yeah. You Hungary? Yeah. Hungary. 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 Hungary is a country. Hungary is my country. Oh, oh, Hungary, I know. Hungary. Yeah. yeah, we call it Hungary. So, how much is one of these? One ringgit. One ringgit. Okay. Yeah. I will try. I will try it, yeah. So, you want a uh, sweet? Sweet, uh, no. You have sweet and spicy? Uh, and lemon, okay. Honey lemon. Honey lemon, lemon. okay, yeah. I try. What? One, oh, just for taste. You do, I don't need the bag. Okay. okay, thank you. And honey, you want a shake? Yeah, I want to drink for one. Mm. How much is the milk? You eat also? Uh, this one, one for No, 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 stop. You want to? No, no, I don't want No, no, no. Want she pork. wants... Uh, this one. Yeah, no shake. This is real pork. Yeah? Yeah. Last night, I tried a burger. Pork yeah. burger, but it wasn't really pork. But this pork is pork. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, you are like a bartender. Uh, no, lah, because it's just a job only. Thank you very much. Taste it, baby. Oh, you can't see it. Yes, I'm not in there. <laughs> In the fishing village, we couldn't try the fish because we got the tourist price. Uh, it was very expensive. I, I, this, I think that's the only thing I don't like in Malaysia. If you can find local price and the price for the travelers, which are normally three times uh, expensive than the local price. So we didn't try it after we went to a beach which was recommended by a, another traveler from here uh, but it was very 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 dirty so we decided to come back to this beach where we were already and it's quite uh, clean not the water but the beach is very clean so we will have a beach here hanging around a bit and after we go to Malacca with the night bus but first I go to the water <laughs> uh, Gecko is living with us. He is somewhere there now. Huh? We cannot see, but we can hear. <laughs> so, what do you think about Penang? Uh, I like it. We spend six night, no five nights, six days there, and it was really nice. Even I didn't like so much the the town, Georgetown, because the things that you can see there, you have to pay for. 
so it's not so nice. Like they have plenty of museums. Yeah, um, one. <laughs> <laughs> the, the only one free mu museums we didn't visit it in, in the end. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the rest, they I just ask for money, which we don't have so much. Um, so we rent a bike, and it was a lot better to go around the island in that way to visit the temples, the big ones, and the most. Um, I saw the beaches, even if they weren't so good because of the water, but it, it was really nice. She did yoga also there. Oh, what was the yeah. yoga? How was the yoga? It was very hard. I think the teacher was like Chinese because of her name, and she just killed everyone there. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was fine also. Very nice. Yoga For me, you you have to know it's Penang is an island next to Malaysia, and just a part of Penang called Georgetown, which is a heri heritage city, which is very nice. I really like to walk there, but uh, yeah, the true is one or two days enough for that part of the city, and after you can discover the other parts of the island with a bike it's very very good you can go around the island and find many things we yeah we checked three i think three beaches which was uh yeah the big one batu feringi uh -huh. feringi beach yeah it's big and not too much people so you feel like lonely there if you find the uh, small beaches you still be alone or only a few other people but you don't feel that loneliness there you feel the qu if it's quiet and so good feeling to be there so yeah the smaller beaches are better in the south we found a beach which was which was very 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 dirty so i don't recommend it but the north part was quite okay and yeah going around the island oh, was also very good, but you know. <laughs> going to the Pina Hill. Pina Hill. Yeah. But very adventurous. Yeah, you have to know. If you want to go up to Pina Hill, you have to pay for the transport, that kind of elevator. It's uh, 10 ringgits for the local people, but yeah. 30 for the travelers. Yeah. So it was too expensive for us so we tried to find another route with the bike which was very adventurous <laughs> It was a bit uh, too risky to have an accident to fall down into the deep or just drop down the bike or something we didn't want to take the take too much risk so we came back and <laughs> didn't went up but to the hill finally there. yeah but yeah Penang is like the best of Malaysia because you can really see how people can live together it's, it's unbelievable yeah. Indians, Malays, Chinese many races living together and uh, it's kind of a backpacker city I mean the Georgetown part of the city and one very very important thing in Penang the Antarabangza Enterprise which is a shop the most cheap beer on the island and the important part not the beer but the people there if you just sit down somebody will ask if he can or they can join to you and you already start to speak with people and you will realize after four or five hours oh my god it's already two o'clock or something like that mm -hmm. so it's very very fun and we talking with the locals you can have all the informations about Penang if you need this that any anything you need you can ask there about yeah, it and also there is food like three points of food and one of them 
It's called Ligo. I don't know if he's gonna see the sh- this the someday. cook. The cook is Ligo. Ligo and uh, Ligo is Indian, and uh, but Ligo lives in Japan and has a girlfriend Japanese, so he makes like hamburgers, but in vegetarian and non vegetarian. But the thing how he make the inside of the burger. It's like tempura, which is Japanese, so it's uh, it's very yummy. <laughs> yeah. And he also do potato something in the potato that is similar to Hungarian. And if you go there, look for Dennis. He can yeah. help in everything. If it's you. It's Indian also. Indian people, for me, it's the nicest people. If you write me a private message, I will send Dennis number in Malaysia and he can help you in everything. See you in Malacca. Mm-hmm.